Hello guys, how are you? Our topic for today is about functional programming in PHP. So I think you have heard about the functional programming in PHP. So there are lots of programming uh, technology for functional programming. We have the Java, we have the Python, we have the Scale, and of course, of course, we can consider the Scala. So let's to start with the functional programming in PHP. It's very simple. So we have to start first with our code here. Okay, I have here the code, and then we're going to start with our PHP. So if you're starting with a functional programming, just like writing a function. So there's no big deal for that. So the function will create a tool for the uh, for the data to 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 compute the numbers, to fetch the information, or to read the information. For example, let us first create a function program functional programming in PHP. So this uh, data will uh, you know will add numbers. Okay. So how to do that? Let's say function add data. Then we have your string i and string y. So these are the parameters. These are the parameters. This will represent any uh, numerical value. Okay, so we have to continue. And then right after that, we're gonna use what return of course string i plus string y. In my previous tutorial, I think you have already um see this one. And uh, I'm pretty sure that you have the idea how to do this. So function add data. So basically please be careful about spelling. So this is your function add data so after that well first what will happen we're going to use this function inside the main code of the program okay so to do that so we have to write a code right here that will add two numbers so these numbers are the following we let we declare a variable string add one equals two let's say add one equals to ten and then we have the string add two equals to twenty okay now why is it we are using the functional code because functional functions Functional programmings are, you know, an A1 citizen of the program. A1 citizen. They are high class type of data. So we have your add one and ten and add two ten. So remember that we are using the string before the variable. This is where we declare the variable in PHP. So we have to add two numbers and at the same time, we of course we can say force string, which say total equals to string of add data. Remember this is our functions that we have created. So add data. Okay, let us close up this thing. And then we will say string add one comma string add two. So there's no need to uh, infuse the uh, the plus symbol here because here we return the value of i and string y to the main program. The purpose of this is to add any numbers that represent by i and y. Okay, so we infuse the terminator. Why is it that we have here the variable? Well, of course there are lots of options when you're creating a program. Uh, we are talking about functional programming, so of course we can use uh, the variable to be assigned to the function. So one of the great things about in functional programming is, well, of course, you can use the variable to assign in a function. So this is the variable, and we have here of course the function. Remember the function at the top. So this will add two numbers. So we return that two numbers using the return uh, statement here. So when we print that, okay, let us print it. Say echo. So we're gonna infuse now, of course, the h2. Well, of course, we can use the 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 document object model of the HTML right here. Correct me if I'm wrong. We can use it right here. At the same time, of course, we can infuse string total. The purpose of this is we're gonna put some um, formatting for the text. Okay, so that we can see bigger text. Short. Okay, H2. Okay, that's it. So we have here, of course, the total. And after that, what will happen? So when we run the program again, okay, let us uh, focus here. And then we're gonna finish this. So it's body. Remember, we are using the hypertext markup language, and of course, inside the hypertext markup language, we are using the PHP. When we run a program, let us check the result, and of course, if there are some errors, we'll rectify it. Let us wait for the compiler to uh, provide us the result right here. So uh, I think the compiler is a bit longer. To, yes, that's 30. So 10 plus 20, that's 30. That's the total. Okay, so this is not a function. So there, are, there, there is another way to write a function for that. Let's say we, again, what you call this, create a variable to be assigned in the PHP function. So this is one way of creating what you call a functional program. Functional program is to write codes with the parameters without parameters. So there are limitations in functional programming. Moreover, that is, that is immutable. You cannot change data inside a function. So I mean to say, just use the toolkit and force run it in your main program. So what's next? So create a variable to be assigned in the PHP function. Let's say string. Of course, we have variable one. So this is the name of the variable. I can assign that to the function. You have to name it. So let's say function. All right. 
So you have the function, let's say, string, uh, another variable, n. Okay. So the purpose of this string s is to return value. And of course, we'll have to multiply it by 2. So let's say return, and then string n. Of course, we have string n. And then multiply by 2. Okay, multiply by 2. So this is a, a value. This is a parameter. And again, this is, you know, an operand. So whatever number is, is that, it will be multiplied by 2. Remember, of course, uh, the most important part here is don't, don't be confused. If you are assigning a variable to a function, in functional programming, remember to put the semicolon. Okay? So that, that's, that, that's the rule. Now, if I want to print this value, it's very simple. Okay? Echo, say, I will put again, of course, the slash br. And then what happened? All right. So this is now the, our codes. Okay. And then I will use this variable to be uh, to, to print the value of, 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 of any number. Okay. Let's say I will assign again another variable or maybe I can use the echo here or to print command, this print statement to print the value. Print and echo, they are the same. So echo and I'll say string variable. Okay. Look what will happen. And then I will say, because we have the parameter right here, I will put here 10. So it will be multiplied by to expect that the, 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 the total is 20. If I run the program, let's see what will happen. I think there is an error right now because we were not able to put the one here. Because the name of the variable is 1 and we assign it to function. So we will run it again. So that's 20. So that's 20. Okay, so the total is 20. Now, this is how you do uh, create a program, okay? You create a function with a parameter. You can use this thing, this uh, format. And of course, uh, to make it more uh, intuitive, well, of course, you need to assign a variable to a function and then you print, of course, the variable. Here is to create a, a, a variable and assign it a function and print the value, okay? So let us check, okay? Let us check if this is correct, no? If this is an integer or not, let us check. And then we call and invoke, of course, let us invoke the php what you call this uh, function uh, built-in function function okay to check whether the data is integer okay let us check that so let us use here firstly you're gonna print again another okay check the data as part of our label okay so what will happen is we're gonna check it. Okay, let us check it. So let's say print and is integer. Okay, integer. Okay, let us use that. Print is int or print is integer, and then we check of course the variable at the top. Variable one. Okay, let us check if this is true or false. This will return, of course, the value. But again, using the print command, this will not print the value. But again, we can use the var dump. Okay, var dump is to uh, exercise the power of checking if the data is uh, uh, is integer or a boolean. Okay, let us use this thing. All right, we will run the program. Okay, that is false. No? I don't want to happen. But again, that's how you uh, use the var dump. And of course, we have here, of course, the the, the methods to check if their ball is integer or not. Okay, we have to put again here the slash br. Now, I mean, to say we got, you can do lots of things inside the PHP um, program. And uh, you can use what called the functional programming to power up your data. So, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and share this uh, video. Thank you.